Hey everybody, this is Frankie Abrazino with the Uncensored Report. And this one I want to talk about Black Friday and the materialism factor and why it shouldn't be this way. Why hordes of desperate, what we like to call zombies, are out there and desperately trying to save dollars on toys, towels, apparel, uh, cheap electronics out of, cheap, out of China. Um, and they they run around just as you can see on the screen, seemingly oblivious to the fact that virtually all these goods were made up outside the United States. We're legally uh, we pay for slave labor, as I showed a video I think earlier this week about it, showing drawing the comparisons. And think about it: these people they go out in the United States. They clash violently with others trying to get items that they want at a discount. Sometimes they save a couple bucks on soap, toilet paper, uh, the jumbo TV. And what it does is Black Friday puts the worst excesses of American materialism on display for the whole world to come out and see how foolish we look. But most Americans don't seem um, to care about their pathetic appearance that they are illustrating out there to the rest of the planet. The only thing that most Americans know is that the holiday season is upon us, and now it's time to spin, spin, spin. Spend until you drop. Even if it means crippling or killing somebody, running your credit card debt even further through the roof. As I said before on another rant, 70% of the Americans have less than $1,000 in their savings account. I think more than 30% are past 180 days due on their... Um, credit cards. Americans will spend at an all-time high record. $650 billion it's forecasted. That's the amount of money roughly equivalent to, get this, the GDP in Saudi Arabia. How sad is that? How sad is that we're fine with that? It would be one thing if we did all the spending um, with some class. You know, we went out, we didn't beat each other up, we didn't kill each other. But Americans that go out, they brave these freezing temperatures in a lot of cases. They stand in lines for a day, a day or two, hours, it all depends. They do this on Thanksgiving evening instead of spending at their time with their family. Like I said, to save money on toiletry for $1.60 or whatever the uh, monetary value is that they're saving there. It fluctuates, obviously. But we have become a nation that is entirely, entirely consumed by greed. You know, the average American sits there like a zombie watching TV, reality TV, five hours a day, if not more. Being endlessly exposed to the commercialism that's out there. Telling us to go out and buy and spend money on our credit cards. So that we'll be satisfied with life. Think about it. All this programming. All this programming causes Americans to actually behave like zombies. We sit in a vegetative state in front of the TV, watching the real world of New York or wherever these places are. I don't even watch them, so I'm not sure the names of them. And then we go out. We see this violence that occurs on Black Friday. And it's not limited to the ridiculous brawls over the Chinese-made um, electronics that have replaced so many jobs in America. think about it. Unfortunately, a lot of people are starting to think about it. They're starting to say, hey, look, let's close shops on Black Friday. There's the buy nothing day that's out there, the movement that's being pushed. Thanksgiving is one of those holidays where virtually everybody can get together, spend time together as a family, and just enjoy each other's presence. The experience of spending time with family and friends is far more valuable than any of the deals you may pick up at your local Target or your local Publix or whichever store you're going to. Actually, Publix is closed. But the truth is, the vast majority of us do not need any more stuff. We have more than enough stuff. But without a doubt, we could definitely use some more love. We could definitely use more families in our lives. Some of the most miserable people are the wealthy ones. At one point, I was p p pulling in a ton of money, a ton of money. I lived in a million-dollar house and everything. But guess what? I didn't live. All I did was work, 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 even more than I do now. And I was stressed, and I was not a happy camper. There's a lot of people out there that are in that same case. A lot of the people, I lived in one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in the uh, world, in the um, Florida. 
They were cold, cruel people. You didn't want to really associate with them. And what you need to remember is that success is not measured with how much money you make, but rather how much love you give out there. The karma, what you will get back. But sadly, if you just think about it, folks, this is the age that love has become heavily linked with stuff like sex. You know, get in a sexual relationship, but someone doesn't mean that you're, um, that you, it means that you're loved. In fact, some of the loneliest individuals out there are the ones that do that same stuff. Some people have deeper relationship with their friends, better relationships than they have with their families. Just watching that fight up there on the screen. Amazing. You can run out and buy stuff all day long at Walmart. You can go out and get in the fights. You can uh, be like these people on the screen and get tackled by the police. But how many times a year do you get to sit down and spend time with your family? Quiet, peaceful environment. No fist fights. Nobody's getting killed. Nobody's getting smashed. You're not putting your credit card through debt through the window. The long-lasting Thanksgiving weekend should be a time to live, laugh, and love. we still got a few hours left in it today. It's today Sunday. Unfortunately, many of my friends, many of us fellow Americans out there, are completely blinded by the greed, and we've forgotten what really matters in life. So in these final hours, do what you can. Don't go out and shop. Go out and spend some time with friends and family. Enjoy life. This has been Frankie Abrazino with The Uncensored Report.